This workshop video will give you lots of helpful hints and tips on how you can best control your body, which is required for being able to learn finning techniques correctly and efficiently. It's crucial that every diver is also weighted correctly, so see my additional training videos on this. Hopefully at some point in your scuba courses so far, you've been introduced to the table and learning correct body position and finning techniques. I'd like you to picture a skydiver falling through the air. They need to hold tension in their body to stay flat. Now, that's quite similar to us underwater. We need to have tension in the hips and we need to have some tension in the shoulder blades. Having tension in the shoulder blades allows your head to move freely and having tension in the hips allows you to fully control everything lower than the hips. So your thighs, your ankles, your feet. You want to avoid hyperextending your body like this. It's a slight tension in the hips and a slight tension in the shoulder blades. When you then try and move your legs up and down, you should feel that you have control, but the rest of the body up from there will be locked. You need to squeeze your stomach muscles and your bum and have a slight tension in your shoulder blades. If you think one, buoyancy, two, trim, three, select finning technique, four, actually kick and move, you will always move efficiently. The idea is you can't kick until everything else is in place. This includes tensioning the body correctly, tension the shoulders, tension the hips, keep the tension as you move the legs. If you have a GoPro and smartphone, I suggest you